Knoxville flips the puck end over end in the air into the Roanoke zone. Martin plays it beautifully out to Stubbs, and Stubbs finds Sarges crashing left to right into the Knoxville zone. Near side goal line, Sarges shoots it, scores! Garrett Sarges picks up right where he left off last night. One to nothing, Dogs, with 16.23 to go in the first. Bounces off Perita's pad. Another opportunity for Broman, and then a rebound scored by Jansen! Dogs strike twice in the first five minutes. It's two to nothing, Roanoke over Knoxville. Roanoke will look to break from right to left. Sarges fights Ford. Ford shoots. He scores! Nick Ford gets the stretch pass from Sarges. The lead is two again. Three to one dogs over Knoxville with 10-14 to go in the second. For the second time in franchise history, the dogs will beat the top seeded team in the President's Cup playoffs and make the President's Cup semifinals. Game three for the Rail Yard Dogs. They win three to one over Knoxville. They'll see Huntsville next week, and that's why you never doubt the underdogs. From the far side, tip. Sherwood on a redirect. He scores! Roanoke leads 4 to 3 with 9.54 to go in the third period. Sherwood just able to get it by Barry on the centering feed from the far corner. Ford trying to get it out of the Rono kid and ends up bouncing back to O'Day. O'Day will pass it across the zone zone for Mark. Play of sticks between Stubbs and Piag frees up Sargis. Sargis in front of the Huntsville net. He shoots, saved by Forva, and Ford cleans up the rebound. Rono leads two to nothing in game two with 6.57 to go in the third period. Sargis gets stuffed, but Ford is there to clean up the mess. Six fifty-seven left to go in the third period. Nick Ford gets his fifth point of the playoffs, give him three goals to tie the team lead during the postseason. Roanoke won the faceoff, and it's up rolling to the far side corner. Armstrong has four Havoc skaters trying to pry it loose, but Armstrong's just holding it up against the far side boards. Now freed up by Huntsville, a deflected pass. Piag backhands it towards Rodebush. Another save. Buck tipped out of the zone. The Dogs win. Game two. It's two to nothing for Roanoke. They sweep the havoc. And for the first time in franchise history, Roanoke goes to the President's Cup final. The Rail Yard Dogs pour out of their bench and go greet Austin Rodebush who had a 36 save shutout to pick up the win tonight. Brady Hepner and Nick Ford scoring the goals. And now the underdogs have a chance to become the top dog in the SBHL this season. Rodebush had to jump to get that save, and they made another save. What an unbelievable play by Rodebush. Got the right skate out to the near post and kept the havoc out of the Roanoke net. The first one was Rodebush jumping in the air to stop the puck. Biasintini had a rebound chance and got knocked back from the far side of the Roanoke net to the near side. I wasn't sure who was there for Huntsville to try and hammer home the rebound, but Rodebush able to do the splits and gets the skate to the near side goalpost. Down low, it's Jones, near side goal line, to the back door, score! Who else? It's Nick Ford with his fifth goal of the President's Cup playoffs. We're tied in the Star City, one to one, with 13-23 to go in the second. Top line back out for the rail yard dogs. Jones, Jansen, and Ford. Up the near side. Jones receives the pass from Armstrong. Now back to Ford. Now to Jones. Center for Ford. Ford shoots. He scores! The dogs lead in game two. Jones to Ford again. The second time we've said that in just a few minutes. 
and Rona bleeds two to one with 8.57 to go in the second period. Poked free by Ford, Ford on a breakaway, for it. he shoots, he scores! Nick Ford is out of his mind! Playoff hat trick, and it happens in moments! Three to one dogs over the Rivermen with 7.33 to go in the second period. How about a playoff hat trick in less than six minutes of gameplay?